Hey guys, uh, I'm Team Arrow Zero One Zero Eight here. Uh, just doing a video here of some of the things I got last week when uh, my friends and I left Thursday morning uh, for Omaha, Nebraska, for AMA Nebraska on 2015 uh, Engineering and Bear Convention. Uh, basically, you know, like I said, just kind of show you some of the things I acquired uh, from between Thursday and Sunday before we came back after closing ceremonies. Uh, just kind of show you at least. Most things, uh, if not all things, I got there, which wasn't a whole lot. But uh, if I do get anything, it's usually something that I want to get or uh, I know that I'll like. Uh, would be from a anime to you know an anime related item. But anyways, uh, start off with uh, things I got on Thursday. Uh, we stopped at a comic book store. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. Uh, so what? One that one of my friends uh, has gone to before, uh, more than once. So he knows knows where the place is and everything. But anyways, uh, first, uh, it was just a couple comics that I caught, I caught my interest. First one being was actually a freebie on this uh, table where some random free things you could take. Uh, this, so the first one is uh, called Neon Joe. Uh, tell him there. Werewolf Hunter. Now, I have not read this yet, but uh, trying to get an idea of the... Uh, what it looks like. But anyways, uh, I haven't quite read it yet, so uh, hopefully uh, check out, because I'm into werewolves as far as uh, at least when it comes around Halloween. Uh, love dressing up as them during when I work at a hot house and whatnot, but I uh, was kind of kind of interested, so uh, hope, look, look forward to reading it once uh, I get around to it. And, uh, hopefully it'll be uh, pretty good here. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But anyways, the other one that had to catch my interest and... Uh, I'm going to have to kind of look around and see, because it looks like it's a, the second volume. But anyways, uh, this is kind of from my childhood days, uh, when before I knew this was an anime, uh, even though uh, it was dubbed in the States here and there. But anyways, I uh, uh, found a Voltron Defenders of the Universe uh, from the ashes of the title there. But basically, this is a cartoon I grew up watching in the 80s as a kid. And uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to do some searching today and find the first one uh, here. But uh, anyways, uh, that had obviously come attention because it you know, just brought back childhood memories. And so uh, we'll see see how much that that goes there. So that being started off, uh, one of the malls we checked out uh, had some interesting things there. I got a couple things there at least anyways. Uh, at one of the two shops I bought something. Uh, first one was a small action figure of the late Roy Schreider. I hope I said that right, but anyways, uh, basically the actor who played Chief Brody from the first uh, Jaws movie. And then of course I'll say, you know, he was, uh, as you know, he was in at least the second, uh, the first sequel. So, like I said, got that there. So that was pretty cool, and it looks like there's a uh, the Great White Shark, Quint, and Hooper, but. Uh, uh, just attempt to see this at this uh, toy sh toy shop uh, that had like games and various toys and uh, I can't remember what the name of the shop was off the top of my head, but uh, I had to get because you know it was kind of first movie as a kid. Uh, you know, actually, Morgoth old I was actually kind of spooked me, and uh, but anyways, that you know kind of reason for that getting that one, and then just uh, for no reason, uh, really probably because uh, you know him being from South Dakota, but mainly me just being simply a pro wrestling fan. Uh, Got this uh, action figure of a uh, WWE wrestler and former UFC heavyweight champion, uh, Brock Lesnar. Oops, I lost my control out there, but uh, got that there as well. Uh, I definitely was like, yeah, got to get this. Uh, definitely, you know, it's just uh, I mean, the guy who ended the Undertaker streak, apparently. But anyways, uh, the last thing Thursday that I at least got uh, that I bought was... Uh, the first set or first volume of uh, Mobile Suit, uh, actually, excuse me, uh, tur uh, yeah, Mobile Suit Turn A Gundam, uh, which finally came up uh, stateside. And, you know, this is just the first half. I got yet to buy the second half. I only got the first uh, to uh, kind of get started because I got like, a whole bunch of other animes, regardless of what series they may be in. Uh, various movies to get cop on. <laughs> like, I've fallen a bit behind, so hopefully I want to try and get started getting cop here. But uh, once I, 
at least get started. I'll probably end up ordering online or something, you know, just have, so that way while I'm finishing up this, uh, you know, I'll have someone coming in. But uh, that was everything for uh, Thursday. And then while at the convention, uh, no particular order, uh, first item was actually, I can't think of the character's name, but she's like one of the main female characters from a uh, anime series, Girls Bravo. And, uh, it was this is basically how it was. There was no box or anything with it, but, uh, as I turn this way, you can see the marks on her forehead. But you can see, you can see those three dots there. That was kind of part of the, uh, Oop, wrong way. <laughs> but that was kind of just part of the character's uh, out, uh, appearance and whatnot. But uh, kind of all those uh, harem comedy type deals. Uh, it wasn't really <sighs> overly fan service, but it was definitely still there. Uh, it, I should say it was definitely was there, but uh, uh, it was definitely a really funny series to watch uh, uh, that I first picked up on years ago. But uh, that was one first item I got there. Uh, like I, said, I, w I I was hoping to remember to look up the character's name beforehand, but uh, I forgot to do so. But uh, anyways, like I said, uh, but the, the series she's from is uh, Girls Bravo. Uh, this one is from a series uh, known as Zoys, but uh, this, uh, I believe it's the Zoys Generations, which I haven't seen any episodes of, as far as I know. But uh, anything... Zoys related, I tend to like or try to watch it if there's any episodes able to, to view or whatever. And, uh, got this character. I don't know what her name is, but, uh, like I said, since it said, uh, Zoys there, it, it just simply just, uh, just kind of caught my attention. So I just had to get that there, but, uh, there's that one there. But, uh, so that was interesting find, say the least. There, uh, next item. Uh, let's see here. Was actually uh, another anime series. Uh, I kind of seen a couple episodes, which uh, definitely sparked my interest in getting. Uh, it's called uh, "The Devil What Is a Part Timer." Uh, kind of a comedy type series. Uh, basically, it was just something that. Uh, like I said, uh, it was at a one-day convention. I'd seen a couple of episodes, and uh, I'd already heard about it and known of it and heard some good things about it from other friends, and that's kind of basically pushed me to, or uh, convinced me, I should say, to uh, pick up that series there and uh, go with that there. Uh, next is one of the uh, characters from... Uh, and I sh I know I should know her name, but uh, yeah, go figure. I can't remember. But uh, got another uh, statue from one of the uh, characters from uh, a comic guy or Kill a Kill. Jeez, I'm getting my series mixed up here. But uh, let me see. That's just kind of the outside of the box there. But. Uh, Yeah, that was kind of a not complete last minute decision. My figure since I had uh, one of the other characters there, I had managed to find. I was like, you know, why not get this one too? Uh, but anyways, uh, the last item that that was kind of one of my favorite things to get, uh, as far as things I bought, anyways, uh, was this uh, <coughs> throw blanket of uh, Akino. Uh, yeah, go figure. I managed to remember one character. Yay! But uh, no, it's basically a uh, throw blanket of Akino from High School D and D, a comedy series, uh, harem style type anime series. Uh, I've been reading the manga uh, lately, and uh, uh, both have been a lot of fun here. Uh, uh, definitely kind of cool. It's something I had to kind of find. Games. Yeah, nothing really too crazy. You know, just a simple picture or a picture of the. Uh, character from the series, and uh, just something I felt I had to pick up at least. Uh, last thing, or things I have to show, anyways, uh, uh, I wasn't, <coughs> didn't have a whole lot to kind of try and find graph to have some anything by the guests this year, 
but um, uh, that being said, uh, Keith Silverstein, I believe, if I remember correctly, he was one of the guests there this year. Uh, he's a voice actor, has done various things for, for video games and anime series. Uh, pretty much, uh, I'll show you some things here. Uh, he's done Hunk in many, many Resident Evil games, as far as the survival horror series of uh, video gaming. And I had him sign uh, the cover on the outside of the sleeve, anyways, of uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. So, as you can see, there's there's a signature right there. Uh, that was the first thing I had him sign. And then I also had him sign pretty much all four volumes of... The well, most recent Gundam series I watched, uh, Gundam Unicorn, mostly Gundam Unicorn. Uh, there's volume on volume one, and volume two. The third volume. And uh, he's like he said he's got to kind of stand by the char character that he uh, voiced. I was like, yeah, I mean it, it's, just, it's only right. And so there's the uh, last one right there by his character there from uh, Molson Gundam Unicorn. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is pretty much the gist of it. Uh, well, a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, yeah, from some of the videos, I don't think mine is quite as long as some of the others, but uh, yeah, that's just the uh, quick rundown of what I got there, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, if you like this, uh, feel uh, free to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and uh, I'm not sure what video I'll have next up to try and put together or put up, but... Uh, uh, down the line, I hope to kind of try and make, uh, do a couple things there as far as, like, how I make a video or whatnot. Uh, sometimes it's just use my laptop's camera and, or my cell phone. Uh, but I'm trying to change things up. You know, I'm trying to do things a little bit more differently. I'm not sure how soon or when. Uh, something I'd like to be eventually try and do. Uh, if I can get myself a little more proactive when it comes to doing this sort of thing, uploading a video or, or making a video on, on this, uh, channel. But, uh, to those who have watched, uh, whether you're whether you are or not a subscriber, I want to say thanks. And uh, until next time, guys. This is Terminator Zero One Zero Eight. Sign out. Peace.